Are you planning a Disney World trip but overwhelmed with all of the resort options? Picking the right resort is a huge task, and if you choose your resort simply based on price, you could be making a big mistake. But don't worry, we can help. Let's simplify this by breaking down the categories of resorts and talk about what makes these categories different beyond price before you book your next Disney vacation. Welcome to the Magical Resorts Guide. My name is Jennifer, and along with my Hudson Chris and toddler Mason, we are exploring 18 of Walt Disney World's resorts this year. From Spanish villages to meeting wild animals, we are going to share our favorite tips so you can book your next Disney stay with confidence. Let's jump in. As you are starting your Disney booking journey, the first thing you need to know is that Walt Disney World breaks its resorts down into five different categories, which they refer to as collections. These include your campgrounds, value resorts, moderate resorts, deluxe resorts, and deluxe villa resorts. All of these categories vary by price greatly. They also offer different transportation options, dining, room size, and amenities. This is why booking by price alone can set you up to have a miserable trip. And we also stand by the statement, just because it's a deluxe doesn't mean it's better. Everyone has their own vacation style and particular conveniences that would make your trip magical based on your desired schedule. And knowing what is offered at your resort can ensure that you have the magical vacation that you are dreaming about. Now we fully acknowledge that price does play a big part, but a lot of times you can find similarly priced resorts with wildly different amenities. So let's dive in and break down what you're getting with each one of these categories so that you can make the most informed decision. And after hearing this, if you're still unsure about which resort is best, I'm going to leave a link to our free resort decision quiz in the comments below. This is a fun quiz that takes into account your vacation style and what you plan to do on your trip to help you find the perfect fit for you and your family. So be sure to check it out. The Disney campgrounds at Fort Wilderness would be the most affordable category of accommodations with one caveat. You have to bring your own tent, camper, or RV. Disney does not rent these out to you. We aren't going to spend a lot of time on this category in this video, so be sure to subscribe if you want to see our upcoming camping stay, but we wanted to mention it because the property is so cool. You can spend an entire week at Fort Wilderness, not go to the theme park once, and still have a lot of fun things to do. With multiple food options, tons of recreational activities, and a water taxi to the Magic Kingdom, this is an awesome place to do some camping. So if you have a camper or you're considering renting one, this is a great option. Okay, now on to the actual resorts. First up, the value category. Your value category of resorts will include five different properties. Here you will have all of your all-star resorts, movies, music, and sports, pop century, and art of animation. These range in price per night from $146 to $361, depending on the time of year. And they may feel the most Disney to you since their signature look includes these larger-than-life statues around the property. You'll see everything from Ariel and the Cars characters to Lady and the Tramp, Buzz and Woody, 101 Dalmatians, and more. The statues are huge, the theming is bright, and it makes you feel like you were right there in the movie. Value Resorts will have the smallest room size, coming in at 260 square feet. This is pretty small, but most of the Value Resorts have been updated with streamlined furniture and extra storage, which really makes them feel more spacious. Updated rooms will either have one king bed or one queen bed with a Murphy bed that folds away into a table during the day, which is really convenient. Now, Art of Animation and All-Star Sports haven't been fully renovated to this new style of room yet. If you're booking at one of these resorts, you will find two double beds at All-Star Sports or two queen beds or one king bed in the Little Mermaid rooms at Art of Animation. All of the value rooms will have a single sink vanity that typically has a curtain or sliding wall divider and a separate shower and toilet room. Most rooms have lots of storage, USB charger, a safe, tea and coffee in the room, and a beverage mini fridge. Here you can sleep up to four adults and a baby in a crib, but with the limited space they are geared towards two adults with children. You can book a suite at Art of Animation or All Star Music, giving you more space and up to six adult guests. However, the price of these knocks them out of the value category in our opinion and should be compared more to a moderate resort. Food options at the value resorts will include a food court and poolside bar. Your food court will have a large variety of food offerings and typically serves breakfast breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and it's open for all of the snacks in between. The food here isn't the most gourmet, but you can definitely find some great options and some really good value meals. You will have what is considered basic resort activities with a large family-style pool and quiet pools on the property, an arcade, a themed merchandise store, playgrounds, and movie under the stars. All resorts have complimentary Disney bus transportation to the theme parks and Disney Springs. However, Pop Century and Art of Animation do have access to the Disney Skyliner, which is a huge perk. These properties tend to be further away from the parks, but went out with great prices and larger-than-life theming. The 
These are also the most controversial resorts at Walt Disney World. People either love them or hate them. So we want to know your opinion, even if you haven't stayed there yet. Do these resorts look like a winner or a skip for you? Let us know down in the comments. Your moderate category of resorts will include five different properties, Caribbean Beach, Coronado Springs, the Fort Wilderness Cabins, and Port Orleans, Riverside, and French Quarter. They range in price from $291 to $505. The theming of these resorts matches a vibe instead of a Disney movie with slight nods to Disney characters sprinkled around the resorts. Here you can experience Mexican villages, the Caribbean islands, the streets of New Orleans, and more. And the vibe can change depending on which section of the resort that you stay in, which is pretty cool. In your moderate resort rooms, you're going to get about 50 extra square feet of space beyond the value category, with rooms coming in at 314 square feet. Beds will be either two queen or one king bed and will comfortably sleep up to four adults. Some rooms even have a fifth sleeper pull-out bed option, giving you more room for larger families. Bathrooms are upgraded to a two-sink vanity, and these rooms with a large mirror and general storage around the room is increased. All rooms have a USB charger, a safe, tea and coffee in the room, and a beverage mini fridge. A lot, but not all, of these rooms have been renovated, and finding that renovated option is imperative. Now you will notice I said resort rooms, because the Fort Wilderness cabins are entirely different. These come with their own bedroom, bathroom, living room, and full kitchen with over 500 square feet of space. These are located on the same property as your campground and share all the same amenities. Perfect if you want rustic with a touch of glamping. They aren't the most updated options, but they sleep up to six adults and give you lots of personal space and quiet time. And you can run a golf cart here, which is so fun. On these moderate properties, you will find even more resort amenities. Your dining will consist of either a food court or a quick service option and pool bar, plus you will have a casual sit-down restaurant and typically an evening lounge on the property. Pools in this category get a slight upgrade with a medium pool slide, additional quiet pools around the property, and a splash pad or water playground for the little ones. And at these resorts, you can find additional things to do like watercraft activities, bike rentals, carriage rides, and more. Your transportation here is mainly Disney buses, with the exception of Caribbean Beach having Skyliner access and the Fort Wilderness cabins offering a water taxi to the Magic Kingdom. These resorts are very relaxing and it can help you unwind after a long theme park day, but they are large and navigating them can be a little tricky. Now, before we head to the deluxe resorts, I do have to ask a favor. If you're finding this video helpful, we would love it if you would hit the like button. It really means the world to us and our channel. Now onto the deluxe. Now we're moving on to the deluxe resorts, which include many hotels. We've got Animal Kingdom Lodge, Beach Club, Boardwalk Inn, The Contemporary, The Grand Floridian, The Polynesian, Yacht Club, and Wilderness Lodge. These start at $479 per night and can go way up depending on room choice. Here you will find unique and breathtaking theming even though the Disney touches are more subtle. The goal is to transport you to the story that the Imagineers have created for that resort. From the Great American National Parks to an African safari, these resorts aim to fully immerse you in their theming. Deluxe resorts all have standard room categories with multiple view options like water view, fireworks view, savanna view, and more, plus club level bookings. Most of these properties also have a Disney Vacation Club option that you can book even if you aren't a DVC member. These along with the Riviera, Old Key West, and Saratoga Springs are technically deluxe villas and don't offer standard rooms, so we will be tackling those in a different video. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see that. Now the Disney Deluxe Standard Rooms are the largest resort rooms varying between 344 and 420 square feet. Rooms will have either two queen beds or one king bed and can sleep between four and five adults comfortably. The bathrooms will resemble your moderate resorts with a little extra space. The most significant difference in these rooms is the additional space for lounging, typically a balcony or patio, and these rooms will open to the the inside of the building instead of the outside. So what makes them worth it? Honestly, the property as a whole offers more and the transportation. Deluxe resorts have the best proximity to the theme parks, making it so easy to get back and forth to your room. So if you are going to spend the extra money, it is imperative to make sure that the deluxe resort you choose is adjacent to the theme park you will be visiting the most. The Grand Floridian, Polynesian, Contemporary, and Wilderness Lodge are right next to the Magic Kingdom. Beach Club, Yacht Club, and Boardwalk Inn are directly behind Epcot, and the Animal Kingdom Lodge is very close to Animal Kingdom. 
This access will give you less than a 10 minute transportation time to the park closest to you, saving you tons of time. Your dining options will include a food court, multiple pool bars, casual and signature sit down dining, and evening lounge options. You will have so many food options to choose from, but keep in mind that anyone, even people who are not staying at your resort, can make a reservation to eat here, so these properties tend to get very busy during dining hours. Pools all have an elevated theme at these resorts with multiple slide options, waterfalls or sand bottoms, adult hot tubs, and amazing water playgrounds for the little ones. You can also find additional recreational activities planned around the property, spas and gyms, and nice shopping and entertainment. These resorts do have the most immersive theming and excellent locations, but they will hit your wallet the hardest. So what do you think? Do you have a resort category preference or are you still confused? Don't forget, I have left a link to our free resort decision quiz in the comments below. This will help you narrow down your choices and pick the resort that is best for the type of vacation that you want to have. Be sure to check out this video next, and if you're heading to Disney soon, we hope you have a magical resort stay.